Gather around, everyone. Gather around the tree. It's that time of year. Secret Santa time. I tried to find an ugly sweater and my Santa hat, but couldn't find the Santa hat, so we're gonna have to deal with this beanie and this still ugly long sleeve shirt to set the mood. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Steven Laggy Gamer. Lighting's probably gonna be horrible with this, but I want to be in a festive atmosphere for the uh, holiday season. It is Secret Santa time like we here in the AGP community do every year. We hold a Secret Santa for Christmas. Uh, basically what we do is uh, people I'm closer with on YouTube in the YouTube community uh, who are fans of the show or been on the podcast, you've probably known them or heard of them. We do a Secret Santa where we uh, do a gift exchange. Uh, we get names at random and we just get gifts for each other for, uh, for Christmas season. So I got my package in today. It is right over here. And the person who had me was Return to Mother Base, Alex. From uh, As you all know, he's got his Mother Base moment now in the podcast. So he had me, and this box of goodies right here is all for me. And I'm going to go ahead and unbox it, and I guess we'll show off what he got for me. Uh, let's get Christmas started off on a good foot. All right, I'll go ahead and get started and open this thing again. There was about... 12 or 14 of us who participated this year. Uh, biggest year yet for participants, so pretty awesome. And I have, I have a feeling next year it's going to get even bigger. So this is an awesome thing that we can do just to get each other more uh, just involved. And it's, we're, I mean, we're good friends, all of us. So we enjoy getting stuff for each other because it's just something we like to do. But uh, yeah, it's awesome. So don't feel neglected or worried if uh, you didn't get an invite or something because, like I said, it's only people I... I'm really close with the know in the community why uh, who I send the inv invites and stuff out to. But hey, if I get to know you this year, maybe next year you can be in it. <laughs> it's not like it's some special elite club or anything. <laughs> Alright, so we got this open. And first and foremost, I see a... <laughs> I see something in here already, but I have a note here that says read this first. Oh, man. See, this actually looks so good. You probably can't see the right. Yeah, read this first. Yet, the letter is typed out. Now, this is cool. But you know what I've noticed? Note writing, like handwriting a letter or a note. It's like a lost art now. People don't really do it anymore. Hence, we've typed this one up. But most, if you're like me, you probably have bad handwriting. That's why you don't do it. But this is wonderful handwriting, Alex, unless it's Katie's. But anyways, let's go ahead and read it. Dear Stephen, type for <laughs> legibility. Merry Christmas. I hope this package finds you well. I would normally say the cat is out of the bag, but you already knew I had you from the get-go. I did all the name, like picking out of a hat type stuff, and I knew you had me, so yes. I know who everyone has. Your wish list has reflected that. <laughs> I don't. I didn't say what I got you, but I did want to go with a variety as opposed to just getting you one specific thing. That and the fact that there were two going items on the list that I feel you need to own. One of which is from my favorite development teams. It was my duty as a herald of Christmas to, re to rectify the situation. If you peeked into the box at this point, you probably saw the surprise that I had alluded to. It is. It is at this point that I ask you to hold it up and gaze upon it in all its splendor. <laughs> yeah, right off the top here is a shirt. Not just a shirt, but it's a shirt that says, Bad Man. And you know what? I kind of want to just cut everything and put this shirt on now. <laughs> Anyone who knows, Vegeta, Dragon Ball Z, wore this type of shirt in the series. Stand by one moment. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, in all its glory. We are officially one bad man. <laughs> this is awesome, Alex. <laughs> the shirt actually fits really well. It's a little tight on the gun show here, but that's cool. <laughs> Pretty sweet, yeah. Now put it on. And I did, now. Okay, stop reading and put on the damn shirt. Oh, sheesh. Now, don't you look handsome, you bad man, you. I think I'm looking pretty snazzy here. In all seriousness, please enjoy these items. And one of these surprises is for your family. 
Do I think it's a great surprise for the family? Well, no. But I think it's something that can at least provide hours of enjoyment, confusion, and potentially a different look at the term epic. Best wishes and warm tidings with a side of holiday sauce. Alex return to Brother Base. Wow, Alex. You are quite the cat, man. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the uh, items that he actually bought here. And, uh, wrapped. Oh, actually, all these are wrapped and gift wrapped and stuff. I'm not sure which one's for the family, but I guess we'll find out. I kind of want to... I'm going to take this one first. <laughs> I think I hit the one that's for the family. Uh, Alex put me on to this movie a few weeks ago. We were talking about it just chatting on Skype. He said it's the best Christmas movie ever. It is a must-own and a must-have and a must-watch. And I already downloaded it to watch it. And I did watch it. And it's a very highly entertaining movie. Um, for anyone who's on drugs or likes to do drugs, this is probably the movie for you too. It's probably even better while watching it. I don't condone doing that though. But uh, this is called The Life and Adventures of Santa Claus. That is the main attraction on this film. Of course, it's got another movie called Nestor. But let's not even worry about Nestor. It's all about... The Life and Adventures of Santa Claus. This is one of the trippiest Christmas movies you'll ever see. If there is... Let's see. If there's a synopsis back here. Okay. A baby born in the woods near the forest of Bursey is named Claus. As Claus grows up, the gods send him to the land of mortals to spread joy and happiness where there is none. Claus serves as a small wooden... Claus carves a small wooden cat for an orphan and decides that all the children, rich and poor, should receive toys for Christmas. So, basically it's following this guy Claus, Santa Claus. But it's really weird, it's like this Lord of the Rings type thing. There's a gathering of all these different creatures talking about Claus. Uh, I think there's death in everyone. They go to this round table and someone's saying it's Claus is up, he's due to die, and he needs to. So that's coming to get him. But they kind of want to keep Claws around. So that's kind of what the whole movie's about. It's really trippy and weird. Uh, you have to watch it to believe it. Alex can probably explain it better than me. But uh, even through watching it, there's there's a horde of goblins and orcs that want Claws' head. They're hunting them down. It, it's hilarious. It's funny. It's very creative and entertaining. And it's in like the claymation stop motion stuff. So it's really cool, uh, the effort that people put into making those. But uh, thanks, Alex. Uh, the son actually really did enjoy that already. I'm assuming that's the family gift. Gift. If not, uh, hey, it's still cool. All right, let's move on to the first one here. Well, second one, third one, because the shirt's one. Beautiful wrapping. And the first one on the list. Oh my goodness, is this a brand new copy, Alex? You crazy man! This is crazy expensive, probably. Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. Uh, on the PSP, uh, I put this like on the wish list because I'm a huge ha fan of these uh, superhero type movie games, or not movie games, but superhero games in general. And this one in particular, I really enjoy the first one. Uh, the second one is expensive to get on like anything, any console or anything. It's just hard to get, but I like having them portable. It's like a Diablo type dungeon crawler. Four people can get on this and play together. Not sure about the PSP entry if you can, but awesome, awesome stuff, Alex. Uh, out of everything I put on there, this might have been the least expected one I thought you'd get. So this is a purely huge surprise that you got this. This is awesome. And I'm stoked to play it now. It is one player, so it is customized RPG for PSP. Oh man. I'm so stoked about playing this one. This is awesome. If you can play co-op with friends on console, the first or second one, highly recommend it. Alright, next thing we got here. Here you go. Another little game size box. A little bit thicker though. Let's see what this one's all about. Oh, one of these things in here is something that I did buy myself. I can go ahead and show that off to you too. I wonder if this is the... Oh, nice. This is one where I have... I have a Greatest Hits disc only copy of this game. And I really, really wanted a, the complete version of this. And that is Dragon Quest VIII. With the box, complete. Uh, let's see, is it taped up? No, it's not. So I'll go ahead and take all this out. In pretty good condition too, man. That box is awesome. Here's the uh, manual. And here's the game. With the demo disc inside for 12. Oh, this is awesome. Thanks so much, Alex. I really wanted a complete copy of this. 
Because just having that disc on the greatest hits, you know, I mean, it is the game at least, but uh, having a complete version is just awesome. And it's one that uh, I was playing on PC uh, through an emulator because it just looks so much better on the PC. It's so beautiful. It kind of makes the graphics really pop and look HD. And it's just an amazing looking game. So I'll probably that's probably how I continue to play it. But uh, awesome, awesome to have the complete copy now. Especially with the outer box. You never see the box anywhere. At least not in this good a condition. This is just immaculate, beautiful. And I'm really getting into the Dragon Quest series. Thanks to Dustin Christ for uh, really uh, being such a huge fan himself. He kind of flowed over into me. So awesome stuff. All right, man, we got some more stuff here. Another game size package. I see Xseed. Yes. I think he gave me a heads up on not to get this one. Victorious Boxers on the Wii. Now, I am becoming a huge fan of the game or the anime series this is based on. Hijomi no, Hijomi no Ippo, I believe is how you say it. I'm not good at saying that kind of stuff. But this is a game based off of that show with the uh, main character. Uh, and it's actually not well reviewed. Like People uh, say it's kind of a bad game. But you know what? Being a fan of the show, I don't care. I still wanted to play it and give it a try. And you know what? It still looks fun enough to me. So I'm glad I have it now to try it. Because this is one of those games... Uh, I don't think it costs a lot if you find it at GameStop pre-owned or anything, but you'll you never see it. You'll never find it, at least not complete. So it's tough to still get complete and full. Awesome stuff. All right. Next one, another. This I think I put just nothing but a lot of games on my thing. I see Atlas on here. Ooh, awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. How did? I don't think this is on the list, but how did he know I needed it? Oh, I'm just admiring the artwork right now. I got confused a long time ago. This is Odin Sphere on the PlayStation 2. This was able to be in my possession one time at a garage sale, but when I opened it up... As you can see, the disc is in here. The one that was at the garage sale was just a soundtrack. There was no game in here. Now I always get this uh, game confused with another game on the PS2. Odin Sphere. It, it's it's escaping me now what it's called. It's more of a tactical RPG. I would always get the two confused. And I bought the other one thinking it was this game. I was like Eternal Poison. That was it. I think actually Noah Grub Gun might have sent me that in the package. I can't really remember. I want to say he did. But uh, I thought that's what, what this game was. But it was a tactical RPG that is pretty good. But it wasn't what I thought it was, this game, Odin Sphere. This is a classic Vanillaware. I believe Vanillaware made this game. Side-scrolling, uh, hack-and-slash game, RPG kind of style, I believe. Just one you hear a lot of people raving about, and I cannot wait to see these beautiful visuals in person, finally, on my own TV, maybe on the PC and the emulator, just to make them pop that much more. Awesome stuff, man. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Christmas is so great. I want to say... Before we get to the last one, he's got one more game in here, but I want to show this one. This is one that I bought myself, or he saw it over there at a book off, and he was asking about the calling. Uh, is anyone interested, or he sent me a message, is anyone interested, or what's so good about the game? I forget what the message was, but yes, the calling. Uh, very hard to find, very rare game on the Wii, survival horror. One that has kind of a cult following, doesn't really have that great of reviews. But some people really do enjoy this uh, first-person atmosphere aspect, kind of resembling, I think, uh, a Fatal Frame series is what it seems. I don't think you take pictures or nothing, but it just looked really cool. Uh, I think, uh, I think, was it Grub Gun? Did he do a quick Let's Play on his Mod Wii with it, like one of those test things? I can't remember, but uh, just from seeing it being played... I knew I had to get it just for uh, being a survival horror game kind of ish. I wanted to add it to my collection if it ever popped up. Alex had it at a good price at Book Off, so I jumped on it right away and got it. So thanks, Alex, for looking out for us, for looking out for me and getting that. All right, and on to the final game here for the package. Man, I'm really making this a long uh, video here. Another, I already cheated and saw it was PlayStation 2. 
close my eyes this time. I don't want to see it while I'm opening it. I'm going to take a guess what I put on there. Alex said there was a game from his childhood that I must have. That he really enjoyed. And I'm thinking this is the one. So I don't think this is one on the list, so I can't even guess. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it is. This is one that he was speaking about then. Robotech Battle Cry. I know nothing about this game, but he said it's one that he really enjoyed growing up. Uh, let's see what it kind of looks like. It looks like a... Transform on the fly. Okay, so you can transform in a jet. It's a combat. Take on missions. So it kind of looks open world. You're in a mech, of course. Third person view. Visuals look really awesome. And I want to say I've seen this around, too. Oh man, I'm so looking forward to giving this a try, because, uh... Like Alex, myself, I've been on a big, huge robot kick here uh, recently, wanting to get all those games and everything. And this is awesome one I get to add to the collection now and give it a try. I trust that he says it's a great game. And uh, TDK, let's see. We'll give it a go. It does look visually. It looks really cool. So I'm going to pop that in and give it a try. So awesome, awesome stuff, man. What a great variety of games here. Like just the, we have an RPG. We have a boxing game. We have an action RPG. We have the Robotech. What a great assortment and variety of games here. Just one more time. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. Odin Sphere. Dragon Quest 8. Victorious Boxers Revolution. Ah. And Robotech. But the king of the box. Other than the shirt. Life and Adventures of Santa Claus. People. Any way you can watch this movie, you have to experience it, so. Alex, this was a great box. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Uh, this was an awesome, awesome... This is way better than Dustin's. This is an awesome box. <laughs> um, awesome stuff, man. I really enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for other people who will be doing their uh, Secret Santa unboxings. I'm sure you'll start... If you're following me, you're more than likely you follow them. So you'll probably start seeing them pop up within the next month or so here of us getting them. So, Alex, thanks again. Thanks for sending this to me, everyone who participated in Secret Santa. I hope everyone's enjoying it and having a good time with it. And everyone, thanks for watching this. Laggy Gamer, lagging out.